Hello and welcome back. In the previous lecture, we had a look on metrics as well as the logs. Within the logs, we had a look on diagnostic logs and in this lecture, we will be looking at more about the activity logs. Activity logs can be pulled uh, even for the across the subscription and different types of uh, logs can be pulled and these are mostly called as the audit logs sometimes. These logs will also help us to see who has been performing what operation across your uh, resources or maybe across your subscription and these will show the complete activity logs and uh, these activity logs also previously used to called as order logs or sometimes operational logs but as I say the main focus of this logs to say who and what and when for different operations across your subscription especially the activity logs will provide detailed logging information for different types of write operations or a put post or delete operation specific things will be uh, you can get across the resources our subscription is important to know that this does not only include read operations or nor include operations from previous Azure classic model also other logging information also can be pulled for example administrative purpose logs and uh, service health and resources health for example what kind of resources events are generating from availability and availability or degraded unknown and if you are setting for some kind of alerts that alert specific information and auto scale uh, even the events that are uh, operations of any of the auto scaling settings that you have defined and the security generation Rated uh, events or alerts that would uh, come from your security center and the policies that are reserved for the future use of Microsoft um, that all kind of information also you can pull out of audit logs or activity logs let's jump into the Azure portal to see what we can do or how can we pull out this activity logs Let's take example of one of the resources called storage account and this is the storage account that we have created earlier and if we go back to access keys and if we start uh, doing any of the key regeneration example uh, let's see think that you are the developer and there is a business case that you have regenerated because of one employee has been moved to different project or maybe he is no longer with the company. So in that situation, once we uh, regenerate it, the application might not be uh, working because it was hard coded this key information on your storage account. So in that situation, what we would um, do is um, once the application gets failed, you need to uh, see what went wrong. And if you are going back to the activity logs, check uh, what are the operations has been performed. Let's say if I just refreshed, I should be able to see the operation which has been done last five minutes back. Example, uh, list storage account, uh, which we just go here and uh, see here this list of the storage account has been regenerated and the change history information will be available if we have done multiple times and you can create even alerts which we are going to learn in the upcoming lectures but for now if you see here the activities uh, will be very clearly gives the information uh, what happened and how this was success or failure all that information you would come to know and you would be getting very detailed information for example here regeneration of the storage accounts successfully generated the key so these kind of information will be getting into the activity logs so so for what we have done is we actually had a look on a specific uh, resource but you know if we are looking for from the Azure monitoring portal then definitely you would get not just for the specific uh, resource you would actually getting for the consolidated view for the entire subscription whatever the resources are available now if I go back to the monitoring and you can simply click on activity log uh, this is where it's gonna show you the similar logs whatever we have performed like storage account specific uh, this is the key regeneration specific and also other information like an object SQL all that kind of information also you would be getting here as the logged and you can even filter uh, by adding here whatever the filter you want and based on that like you know I do have your management groups so I can uh, filter the management groups level or maybe subscription level or maybe I can filter with um, 
type of the events, uh, whether critical or error, or different filters, even I can apply here resource group or operations or event uh, initiated by a user, all that kind of audit logs also can be pulled. Uh, that would actually give me a more information on um, what's going on on a specific resources and who is performing and what they have done. All that changes information I would be getting as the activity specific. Try to find out for one of the VM um, and we'll try for a VM specific and see who has initiated some of the changes. Uh, it's not all the time by a specific user. Sometimes the Microsoft Azure itself will initiate some of the changes. So let's take that as the one of the filters. So I'm just adding one more filter here, uh, resource group. And uh, within this resource group, I may go for a specific resource like let's go to the e-learning passion and you see here um, stories action there has uh, there has been a tried but it has been uh, failed because this has been locked by the entire resource group and also let's give it try for the last uh, this is actually pulling from the last six hours so let's go back for the last one month and see what's happening within this resource group and you see here um, as we got earlier for the storage account, which was failed, but you know, other uh, other things has been initiated by Microsoft itself. For example, audit policy action and health event resolved issue. This has been, there was a, some uh, health issues for that specific resource and it has been resolved. And there are a lot of audit policy actions which are performed and management logs has been created by a user and uh, these information like if you see here right task also performed on this and uh, different operations which are performing by a different auditing uh, or the logs activity logs are performing all that can be pulled and you can also apply further level of uh, filter if you want and get the more information on top of it and this is a time span and uh, resource type all that or uh, you can get into the more activity log uh, specific information directly you can pull out from the as you monitoring under activity logs this way microsoft uh, monitoring for the specific to activity log as a consolidated view from directly from here and you can view on a different events which are occurring within your um, within your resources and uh, with respect to these that are going on who's performing and what resources are performing with specific to the administrative or service health or resource health or maybe alerts or auto scaling events or security or whatever the policy specific actions that are performing all that can be pulled directly from the activity logs and that's very useful and these logs can be downloaded or it can be event sent to the log and altic services or you can even pin for your dashboard so you can also configure your additional settings for the diagnostic settings directly from here so this will be very useful for in terms of the monitoring and this is a quick session on activity logs we'll catch you in the next lecture where we will be a com combination of metrics and the diagnostics logs and other logs we can combine it and we also work on the log and services I hope this is useful for you. Thank you for watching this.